we're going to talk about why and how perfectionism is counterproductive and actually inhibits you from uh, being fully self-expressed. My name is Yolisa Bam. I am a lifestyle YouTuber, a YouTube partner, an online entrepreneur, and an independent musician, a singer, songwriter. I've been independent for the last five years and I've been releasing my albums on my own merit, on my own dime, um, and have mastered and created my own system um, of actually building a career, selling records, building an income from your music, and I teach that in the music marketing toolkit. I um, am always in the business of my students. I am always like looking at if they completed their homework, if they completed their tests and their scores. I teach you how to launch an Amazon store and create a um, create an affiliate deal. And I have a lot of people who are just afraid to actually jump the gun and take action because Yes, I give you the instruction, but you're, you may not be that great at writing emails yet. You may not be that great at um, making videos yet and uploading your content and making vlogs. You may not be that great at um, you know talking to the camera. You may be so comfortable and just like performing and being a musician and some of the things I explain are new, but I just wanted to say that it's okay to not be perfect. It's okay when you launch your YouTube channel and you decide that you're going to not only do cover videos, you're gonna involve vlogs and, and you're gonna talk about confidence. It was, it's okay to start off and not be perfect. It's okay to take the lessons and the things that I'm teaching you, implement them and not be perfect. It's also okay to release music that's not quite exactly perfect. It's okay to actually put yourself out there and not be perfect. Perfection and, and, and pursuing being perfect inhibits you from actually taking a step. You're never gonna be perfect. Your music is never gonna be perfect. I remember when I was recording Grateful, my album Grateful, I um, I just kept writing and re-recording and re-recording and re-recording and recording and recording and eventually we just had to sit down and have a conversation of when we're gonna stop. When are we going to stop this project? When are we going to just say, you know what, we've done everything we can for this project, let's leave the innovation and the correction and the creativity for the next thing. Um, we just had to set a date to just complete it. And I can tell you that that is um, one thing that I've learned as a recovering perfectionist that uh, has allowed me to be way more productive in the last year than I have in a very long time. And I'm saying this to illustrate that sometimes being a perfectionist, you know, it, it means that you care, but at some point you just have to decide, you know what, I'm going to do this. I wanted to make this video specifically for those of you who are enrolled in the Music Marketing Toolkit because I am teaching you how to market yourself. I'm teaching you how to build a brand that's not just around music. I'm teaching you an approach to marketing your music that's a little outside the box. If you really look, it is what you see in artists who are successful, who are established, who are entrepreneurs. I am teaching you those same strategies. I'm teaching you how to merchandise. I'm teaching you how to um, build sponsorship deals even if you don't have the biggest fan base yet. And I know that sometimes taking those first steps, it's not easy. You're better off spending your time digging deep into the places that matter the most. So being a perfectionist is not, it's not helping any of us. It's not helping me, right? And it's not helping you. You just have to start. Take an action, do what you can with what's in front of you, follow through, and move on to the next thing. You know, in this book, managing oneself. I always talk about this. You can find this in uh, the resources on, at my website, yolisabam.com. Um, there's a concept, it's called feedback analysis. Basically, when you decide on a course of action, when you decide on a plan, on a goal, you put your head down and you just commit to it for six months, 12 months, however long. And then you look back after you've committed to it for a certain amount of time and see, was it actually effective? Was it actually something that worked? I would like to encourage you to take that approach instead of the approach of perfectionism. Let's put our work out there. Let us uh, be bold and take action um, in spite of our, you know, in spite of our, of our fear, in spite of our fear of rejection. Let's put our music out there. Let's try new things. Let's take risks and not allow perfectionism to get in the way of us being productive. So I hope that this encouraged you. Um, if you would like to, if you like this video, 
um, make sure you head over to my website, yolisabam.com. I have a bunch of blogs, resources. This book is on there, um, as well as some more kind of self-development tools that would encourage you. Um, like I said, I teach independent artists how to build sustainable music careers. And a lot of that incorporates self-development. I would encourage you just to head over to yolisabam.com right now. You're going to find um, either some tools to market your music, um, some encouragement, or you'll just find resources uh, to develop yourself. So I'm encouraging you to not let perfectionism get in the way of you taking action.